If you're investing in Bitcoin or thinking of investing in Bitcoin, you're an absolute joke. Yet I personally have almost half a million dollars invested in it. So what makes me so special? What's going on everyone? I'm Ravi Wavala and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about how although all signs point to investing into cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, I absolutely recommend against it and why that is. Now I'm not a financial advisor and this is just my own personal experience. You should always do what's best for you and consult professionals for your situation. This is especially the case if you're thinking of starting a business or you just started a business. Now Bitcoin is the best performing asset class over the past 10 years and if you look on the chart right in front of me here you'll see it's actually even been on a considerable bull run in the past few weeks. Yet in this video I'm going to be walking you through a much better investment that's going to get you a much higher return on investment a lot faster. So unless you've been hiding under a rock for the past few years you've probably heard about cryptocurrency or Bitcoin. Now in this video I don't have enough time to go really in depth as far as what is cryptocurrency or what exactly Bitcoin is or the uses of it. If you're watching this, I'm kind of already assuming that you already have some basics of understanding with it. And instead, we're going to be talking about how you can be investing your money more wisely. Now, there are a few points worth mentioning as far as why I do have almost half a million dollars invested into Bitcoin. Number one, it is the best performing asset class in the past 10 years. If you look at the graph on the screen right here, you'll see what a $10,000 investment in mid 2010 would have yielded you over the past 10 years in some of the major asset classes around the world. As you can see, Bitcoin would have returned you around $2,533,333 while in second place, the S&P 500 would have made you a conservative $25,000. The second point worth mentioning for Bitcoin is that in the first six months of 2020, the United States government increased the money supply by 33%, according to Forbes. This, of course, will drastically decrease the value of the dollar in the future, while at the exact same time, Bitcoin, which has a very finite supply available, has been shrinking in supply, thus making it an attractable deflationary asset and not susceptible to the whims of certain governments. Yet, I still don't think, if you're watching this video right now, you should be investing in cryptocurrency or Bitcoin if you're a business owner or thinking of starting a business. The first reason why is because you have not liked this video yet or subscribed. So do that first before we continue. No, but the real reason why I don't believe that you should be investing in Bitcoin or cryptocurrency or really majority of investments is because the most critical investment you can make when you're starting a business or in the first few years of businesses is back into yourself or back into your business. I'm going to illustrate this to you through a story of actually how I turned $1,000 into millions of dollars over the past two and a half years, and then give you some actionable steps on how you should be investing your money back inside of your company. So let's rewind to Ravi Bhuvala circa 2018. I had just decided I wasn't going to go to law school, and instead I spent $1,000 of the money I didn't have in an online program to teach me how to run an advertising agency. Now, of course, everyone that I told that to thought that I had just thrown away my money and it was a total scam, yet I still believed in myself and my skills as a person to be able to get a return on investment for that. Unfortunately, that didn't really seem to be the case because in the first eight months of 2018, I made about $5,550 total in my business. Now, while that may be a decent return on investment for your typical investments, for my full-time gig and a job, a business, it wasn't that awesome. So then when most people would have folded up and given up shop, I once again invested another $2,000 into myself, into my business, but this time into my first employee. That employee's sole job was to focus on lead generation and fill my calendar with prospective new clients for me to sign. In the first 30 days, they did such a great job, my new employee, that we actually hit our first $10,000 month. So that's about a five times return on investment for that original $2,000 to get $10,000 in the first 30 days and a 15 times return on investment over the past eight months. Not bad. Okay, so at this point, this is where you see most entrepreneurs or people thinking, okay, great, now he invests his money into Bitcoin or into real estate or into cars or whatever else, right? Wrong. 
These could have given me a conservative 8% return and I had no real idea of knowing which way Bitcoin was gonna go. So instead of putting it into these conservative or risky investments, I decided to put it right back into the thing that was already making me a return on investment and I hired a second employee for $2,000. Once again, their full-time job was to fill up my calendar with new prospective clients. Within three months, we hit our first $30,000 month cash collected. Yippee! We made it, right? I got a Lamborghini, got a condo in Miami, and posted on Instagram so everybody knew I was successful. Once again, you're wrong. Instead, I took about $5,000 of that and I invested into a coaching program so I could learn from somebody on how I can start running paid traffic in order to acquire new clients for my business. I was able to leverage that paid traffic so that we were able to turn total strangers into paying clients in just a matter of a few days. In essence, I would pretty much pay $400 to Facebook and it would spit me back out a $2,500 a month client for my advertising agency. That's about a six times cash return on investment in seven days. Show me an investment that can make that for you. Within about 90 days of hiring that first coach and putting about $20,000 into advertising, my company had its first $100,000 month. At that point, between coaching programs and employees and advertising, I'd spent about $30,000 in my business and I had made a whopping $150,000 back. That is a 500% return on investment in one year with that number compounding every single month. Fast forward to about two years down the road and we are consistently doing a few hundred thousand dollars a month inside of both my companies and we're on our way to hitting our first million dollars a month in the next six months. Now, I'm not telling you all of this here to brag, I'm doing this to prove to you that with absolutely zero sales or marketing or business expertise in the past, I invested in myself and it paid off handsomely. I don't care who you are or what kind of limitations that you have, I can almost guarantee you that it will be the same. Now, of course, I can guarantee that because, you know, I don't really guarantee anything and I'm not a financial advisor, so you just do what you think is best for you. Now, the question you're probably asking is, okay, Ravi, why do you have almost half a million dollars invested in Bitcoin if you believe so much in investing in yourself? Well, because at some point, if you set it up correctly, your business will actually be spinning off so much cash that there's actually no way you can reinvest it back in your business or in yourself without everything breaking. Instead of that cash that I have kind of just sitting in my bank account and essentially depreciating at the abysmal yield savings rates in the United States right now, I invest it into investments such as stocks or real estate or cryptocurrency that could have a potential increase on my ROI instead of a guaranteed decrease because of depreciation. So there you have it everyone. Why investing into cryptocurrency or Bitcoin or really almost everything other than yourself is probably not the right thing to do unless you have just mounds of cash sitting in your bank account. And if that is the case, you can email me, I'll send you my PayPal and we'll be sure to take care of that for you. Now, if you made it to the end and you still wanna learn a little bit more about my journey, how I was essentially able to turn that first thousand dollars into a few million dollars and the exact steps I did to get there, I put together a totally free course. You don't have to pay me a dime. It's gonna be in the description down below and it gives you hours and hours of content that walks you through the exact steps and techniques I took in the beginning to get to where I am today. Click the link in my description to get access to that now. And as usual, everyone, if you got any kind of value out of this video, it would be incredible to me if you could just give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get notified the next time I put a video out like this. And be sure to comment down below what your thoughts are on investing and if you believe in investing back in yourself or if you have any investments in such as real estate, cryptocurrency, et cetera, et cetera. I'll see you guys in the next video.